Why is India's Citizenship Amendment Act so controversial? Let's dive right in. The Citizenship Amendment Act or CAA is a law that modifies India's citizenship rules first established in the 1955 Citizenship Act. Introduced to Parliament in July 2016 and passed in December 2019, the CAA marks a significant shift in the country's citizenship eligibility criteria. The Act expedites the citizenship process for Hindu, Parsi, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, and Christian refugees from Afghanistan, Bangladesh, and Pakistan. These individuals who fled religious persecution in their home countries before December 31, 2014, can now become Indian citizens in just five years. Even those currently living in India without valid visas or necessary documents are eligible to apply. The CAA thus creates India's first religion-based citizenship test, a move that has sparked widespread controversy and debate, but what happens to Muslim asylum seekers? Let's take a closer look. With the introduction of the Citizenship Amendment Act, religion becomes a determinant of citizenship eligibility for the first time in independent India's history. Muslim asylum seekers find themselves at the heart of this controversy. Even if they are victims of religious persecution, they must wait 11 years before they become eligible for Indian citizenship. This contrasts starkly with the expedited citizenship process for several other religious groups, including Hindus, Parsis, Sikhs, Buddhists, Jains, and Christians. Legal experts have been quick to voice their concerns over this disparity. They argue that the act violates Article 14 of the Indian Constitution, which guarantees equality before the law and equal protection of the laws within India's territory. Human rights organizations have also expressed their criticisms. In 2019, Human Rights Watch described the act as discriminatory against Muslims. The act's implications don't stop at religion either. It also requires valid documentation from applicants which can be a significant hurdle for many asylum seekers and refugees who have fled their homes without the necessary paperwork. This requirement adds another layer of complexity and controversy to an already contentious law. Despite the government's claims that the act will protect persecuted minorities, the reality is that it creates divided lines based on religion and documentation status, turning the path to citizenship into a maze for many individuals. However, Muslims are not the only ones affected by the act. While the focus has been primarily on Muslim asylum seekers, other communities have also been denied the benefits of the act. Let's shift our attention to these groups. The act's selective nature also impacts other marginalized communities seeking refuge in India. For instance, Tamils from Sri Lanka who have sought asylum due to the long-standing civil war in their homeland are not recognized under this act. Similarly, immigrants from neighboring countries like Nepal and Bhutan also find themselves excluded. Human rights organizations have been vocal in their criticism. Amnesty India, for example, has stated that the law contradicts the constitutional values of equality by legitimizing discrimination based on religion. They've pointed out that the act not only falls short in providing equal opportunities for all asylum seekers, but also undermines the secular fabric of India's constitution. The introduction of the act was met with significant resistance, sparking large protests across India. The passage of the act in 2019 ignited widespread protests across India. The nation was gripped by upheaval, with violent clashes erupting in New Delhi. The scale of these protests was immense, the outcry against perceived discrimination resonating across the country. Tragically, the clashes resulted in over a hundred casualties, most of whom were Muslims, and hundreds more injured. Thus, the Citizenship Amendment Act continues to be a source of controversy and division in India, raising questions about the country's commitment to equality and non-discrimination.